Hey everybody, this is AYG's Alpha Team, here with another video for The Division. This is going to be my 1.8 classified gear set for the Reclaimer, the full six-piece Reclaimer. Let's go ahead and get into it. Now I just got this Reclaimer, even though this came out with the last global event, I just got my six-piece during this current global event, and I wanted to build it out for 1.8 rather than 1.7, so this is going to be catered more towards a 1.8 since that's what we're in now. And, uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Okay, so we're rolling an electronics heavy reclaimer, all six pieces. We're running with SMGs, and I'm just going to break down every piece really quick. Uh, we're going all electronics, but all of our mods are going to be firearms and health. Now, with this build, it's not going to just be for healing. It's going to be for fighting, too. And I'll go over that into a little bit more detail with this, but all of our mods are going to be Firearms health, with the exception of one of them, is this one's going to be electronics skill power because we need to get our electronics above 9,000. And with our, if we went with all mods firearms, we would just be below that. So we didn't want to do that. So we're going with one piece electronics. The other's a firearms health. We're going with health because we need a little bit of toughness with this build. And uh, before I forget, let's go over the set bonuses. So set bonus two. And three and four are all the same from before. Now with classified, set bonus five gives you an additional 15% support station range, additional 25% support station duration. And then the six piece gives you 50% station health, 100% healing speed. And then with also with the six piece of talent is support station gains a 40% chance to have no cooldown triggered when it is destroyed by an enemy. This chance is increased by 20% for every 3,000 electronics. So with 9,000 electronics, you get an additional 60% chance on top of the 40, which gives you 100%. So anytime any enemy takes out your support station, you'll just get it right back so long as your electronics is over 9,000. And uh, let me just tell you, with all the stamina that's being built out, with all these new builds, the electronics healing you get from this build is going to be super helpful for you and your team. So just keep that in mind. The other thing is we wanted to do a little bit of damage on this. So we're going to be specking into crit chance and crit damage wherever we can. And also a little bit of skill haste because we're using electronics mods with skill, an electronics mod with skill power, not skill haste. And same with firearms because we need firearms health because we want to boost our firearms and we need health because our toughness is super low when we spec into electronics. So that's why we're running with those. I'll go over these real quick. Health and skill haste right here. I have increased kill XP because I don't have a better chest. This is the only piece of a reclaimer chest piece I got that was classified. And uh, you don't really have to worry about specking for uh, ammo capacity because while you're in your support station, you get unlimited ammo. So keep that in mind too. Next is mask. Uh, skill power damage to elites. I'm going to show you changes that you can make. One change that you have to make in order to run this for PvE. But you can also run this in PvP and still be super effective. That's why we went with the damage to elites here. You can go with something like burn resistance. It's probably better, but for PVE, it's going to be damage to elites. Knee pads are going to be health because we need that health. And we also are going with burn, damage to elites, and disrupt. I would rather that be shock than disrupt, but disrupt is actually getting pretty popular as well because a lot of people are using the sticky bombs now. Let's keep that in mind. Uh, backpack is going to be health and burn resistance. You, like Again, you don't really need ammo capacity while you're in your support station, so you don't have to worry about it too much. Uh, health roll instead of skill power because, like I said, we don't have any other... We don't have anything spec for stamina, so we need our toughness to be as high as possible. Gloves are going to be SMG, enemy armor, and critical hit damage. I would prefer crit chance rather than enemy armor damage, so ideally I would want SMG crit chance and crit damage. The reason we're going with SMG damage is because we're using nothing but uh, submachine guns. And then holster is going to be health again. We just needed that health. And uh, you want to get these as high as possible for 1401 for across the board if you can. That's why we're going with those. Over to the weapons. Now specifically I'm using the MP7 because it gives us the best burst damage that we can get out of any SMGs that are out. Fastest firing, hits pretty hard. Our mods are going to be hurried, deadly, and responsive. Now, I wanted responsive in the free slot here, because if it was not, it would I wouldn't have enough firearms to unlock it. So luckily I got I got lucky and got a really good 
roll with this one. That's why it's got hurried and deadly. I always recommend hurried for SMGs because it, after hitting all those crits, because you are going to be using an SMG and because it already gets rolled for a crit chance, getting the, getting that reload speed down to one second is the best thing you can do for SMG. So I always recommend that one deadly as well and responsive because we aren't specced into firearms, but we do need firearms to be, we do need our firepower to be really high, as high as we can get it. And since we're specking so far into crit chance and crit damage, we want to get deadly on here and responsive is just a good idea for any SMG. Now we're also going with an AUG. This particular AUG I have is a terrible, terrible AUG. But as far as crit chance and damage goes, it should be a lot higher. But it's rolled for hurried, competent, and unforgiving. I would prefer that unforgiving to be responsive, but this is just what we got. And before I forget, all of our mods are going to be crit damage. Crit damage, crit damage, crit damage. Also, a little bit of crit chance on our magazine. The same with the MP7. Uh, crit damage, crit damage, crit damage, because we already rolled for crit chance on the actual submachine gun, which is why we're going for them. We have the submachine gun damage on our gloves. And uh, we're also using a pulse. Let's go over to skills. Now, of course, you're using support station. Now, a lot of people argue, why do I not go full healer and use a first aid? And my only, I got two arguments for that, but let's go over the support station first. So support station, 25, 23% healing speed, plus that's doubled because of the six piece. Cooldown is a little high, but it could be lower, but we didn't expect for any skill haze because again, we needed that firepower. And uh, you want to make sure that you pick uh, the life support station, not the others, because this one gives you the most healing rate. Now, even though you know you get all the benefits from all three, this one gives you the best healing rate. And it also gives you actually just the best healing rate. That's all you really need to look for because everything else is the same on all the other ones across. So make sure you pick life support. And we're going with a pulse. Now, the reason we're not going with a booster shot or any kind of first aid is because none of your abilities, none of the actual gear set for reclaimer actually gives you any boost to any of your first aid. Everything is for support station and everything like absolutely everything is for support station. So I don't want to just play as a solid, even when I am the healer, I don't want to be just healing because eventually someone's going to get past you or past your team and they're going to get on you. You need a way to defend yourself, and that's why we're going with Pulse. So Pulse gives us a 32. We're going with Recon Pack uh, with our Pulse because it gives you the most crit chance and crit damage. The 32% you get from here on top of the other 20, 29, 30% you get from your actual weapons gets you to the 60% max. So, so long as your Pulse is effective or it's being – so long as you Pulse opponents – you're going to be getting, you're going to be getting the most out of your weapons as well, which is why we went with SMGs because they're already rolled for crit chance. So with that and our little bit of firearms that we have, we are going to be doing a significant amount of actual firearms damage. You'll see in the gameplay, like it's pretty legit. And again, we go with this, we go with the recon pack for PVE. And if you want to switch it to PVP, just switch to the scrambler. Gives you a little bit less crit chance of damage, but you do also get that benefit of being a little bit more little less a little less um, a little less subjective rather to the actual pulses that other people have so this way you can kind of keep that damage off of you just another way to kind of help you last a little bit longer in PvP talents are gonna be pretty obvious we're going with uh, triage healing out with the skill to reduce skill cooldowns combat medic because that's the role we're playing as a medic we're also going with Death by Proxy. Uh, destroy a hostile deployed skill to increase skill power by 20 seconds. If you, I don't know if you've noticed, but if you play PvP, everyone's using proxies these days. Everyone's using like turrets and shocks and flame turrets and other stations. Now this is, you don't necessarily need tech support. Kill a hostile with any skill deployed to extend the life of duration. Actually, I'm going to roll off of that and I'm going to go with... We're going to go with uh, Critical Save instead. So you've seen it here first. Now I would go I would go the proxies, the tech support if I was playing PvE. If you're playing PvP, go with something like critical save or strike back. I'm gonna go with critical save just because I feel like I'll get more benefit out of me personally 
but I would definitely recommend Combat Medic as a must and Triage as a must. Keep those in mind whenever you're picking out your talents. And again, this build isn't if this build isn't a full 100% healer, we're actually going to be the best healer we can be with the support station and we're also going to be able to help our teammates out with this ridiculous pulse and the firepower that we have. And again, we spec in a little bit into firearms and the reason we have uh, responsive in our free talent is because we weren't able to unlock it with the amount of firearms we have. So if you can get responsive as your free talent, that means you only need 38, 32 to get these others. And it actually ends up being super helpful whenever you're in the fight. All right, well, let's get into some gameplay now. There's really only one tip to give you while using Reclaimer. That tip is you've got one job, support with your station and your pulse. What I mean by that is, is you're not going to be out in front killing everyone. You're going to be hanging a little bit back, popping that pulse so your teammates can get that crit chance of crit damage, leaving that support station down so they can actually get healed while they're attacking. Now keep in mind that when you do pop pulse, it does affect everyone in your team, so they actually get the bonuses from your pulse as well. So you got your support station down, healing them. You've got your pulse out to help them with DPS as well, not only them, but yourself. So just in case they get ahead of you, you can see right here, just backing up my buddy Doc. He's got he's fighting two on one. I'm trying to get some bullets on him, but that again, that's not my role. My role is support. I'm supposed to keep him alive. That's what I'm doing with my support station, and I'm backing him up with some fire, some firepower, just enough for him to help take him down. And again, right here, got the box down. I'm waiting for my team to catch up with me. I got one guy I have to deal with. So I'm trying to just stay alive, and the best way to do that is run around, hide, hide around a corner. You see someone shooting your teammates, you back them up, team fire as much as you can. Always be moving in your box. I'm trying to take out this shock turret, but I'm terrible at it <laughs> because I'm still trying to move. This guy switches to a marksman's rifle, so now I just try and dodge him. Shooting all the tech I can, staying alive. Just enough time for my teammates to come and back me up. Now they get the support station, they get those heals, they're getting that pulse as soon as I hit it. It's all good. It doesn't make for, the Reclaimer doesn't make for a super exciting build, but it does, you are there for support. You're there to help out your team, you're there to back them up. You're not going to be getting all the glory with all the kills. You're going to be protecting yourself, and you're going to be protecting your, your support station, and you're going to be healing your teammates. That's what this whole build is all about. You are going to be the one helping. Your team is going to be reliant on you. You're going to be able to support them as much as possible. You can see right here, this guy goes down. Because he left the support station, we can only do so much from the support station. Another, another you know, pseudo tip is to stay in your support station. You know, stay where the support is. Back up your team. Get your shots in when you can. You'll be super helpful to not just yourself, but to your team. I'm going to let this play out, guys. I'll see you at the end of the video. That's the fast classified reclaimer, guys. All support with firepower and with health. Make sure to stay in your support station. You will always be healing. With that pulse, you will always be crushing it. Anyways, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more from regaming.com. Also, shoot us a comment if you have any questions you want to give us any feedback. It's always appreciated. Until then, go ahead. Game on. Game on! Yeah, game on!